Hello friends, in the series on the income tax cases, today we will discuss the case of K. Mohammad Haris versus Income Tax Department. This case has been reported in 448 ITR at page number 707 and the matter has been decided by Karnataka High Court. The date of the judgment is 24th September 2021 and this case relates to the black money. Although our series on the income tax cases, the logic for Discussing the case on the black money is that because the black money is also related with the income tax act, whatever the information relating to the foreign assets or income is there that is to be disclosed in the income, uh, income tax return also. If any Indian income is escaped assessment then it is taxed in, in the income tax act and if any foreign income is escaped then the provisions of the Black Money Act will apply. That is the logic of the Black Money Act. If you earn any foreign income and if you do not disclose it into a return of income, if you have any foreign assets that has been earned outside India and if you do not disclose those assets in, uh, into your income tax return, then the proceedings under uh, Black Money Act can be initiated against you. There is section 4 in the Black Money Act which says that the undisclosed income uh, undisclosed foreign income is that income which is earned outside India and which is not disclosed in the return of income filed under section 139 subsection 1, 139 subsection 4, 139 subsection 5. Meaning thereby that you can disclose your foreign assets and income whether in the original return if you have by chance uh, missed that you can file belated return or the revised return and you can show this income into your return of income. There is section 50 which says about the prosecution for not disclosing this income or assets into your return of income which says that regress imprisonment of uh, 6 months to 7 years with fine can be imposed on you. In this particular case the assessee filed its uh, original return but could not disclose his 3 assets in the foreign country into its return of income. When the assessee realized this thing, then he filed the revised return under section 139 of section 5 and disclosed all the assets in that and paid all the due taxes and interest on that. But the department launched prosecution under section 50 against the assessee. So the assessee was before the court against this prosecution. The court said that there is no denying the fact that the assessee has not disclosed uh, its uh, foreign assets into the original return but it has been disclosed in the revised return uh, before the notice issued uh, by the department. And the mandate of section 4 is that the assessee can disclose his foreign assets and income in the return whether it is filed under section 139 subsection 1 subsection 4 of uh, section 139 or section 130 or, or subsection 5 of section 139. So if the assessee has uh, properly disclosed all the foreign assets into the uh, revised return also then it is the due compliance by the assessee and the prosecution cannot be launched against the assessee. Friends this is a plain case and the Karnataka High Court has given the decision into the favor of the assessee but see the agony of the SSC that although he has come with clean hands even then the department just to uh, promote the litigation or just to harass the SSC has even lost the uh, prosecution and for launching the prosecution because prosecution is not a uh, very light matter you can go to the jail because uh, uh, it may happen that the notices are issued to you or the notices have been skipped by you. So, for even not disclosing the information whether it is in, uh, intentional or unintentional you can go to jail. So uh, as far as the compliance part is concerned now it has become very important the return filing is very important job you have to be very cautious and especially in those cases uh, where the, uh, the return is of uh, high profile clients uh, where there are foreign assets and income so it should be duly incorporated into the uh, return of income it should be inquired from the clients whether you have foreign assets because nowadays it is happening uh, that the people are sending their children for the higher studies so it may happen that the balances are there uh, into their accounts so 
it is your duty and you are duty bound to disclose uh, even those balances into your income tax return so friends this case is very important which uh, lays down that if the assessee has filed his uh, revised return and shown all the assets then it is the due compliance and the prosecution cannot be launched against him at the end of this uh, deliberation i am once again repeating the name of the case the name of the case is k mohammad haris versus income tax department this case has been reported in 448 ipr at page number 707 the matter has been decided by karnataka high court and the date of the judgment is 24th september 2021